Hi, I'm Dinesh and I'll be pitching Disney, a media conglomerate with a market cap of $90 billion. I suggest that it will outperform with a target price of $57.40 based on the Hulk model. Disney's upside potential is backed by salient strategy of acquiring, building, and monetizing intellectual property while scaling it. After acquiring Pixar and Marvel, the impact and consistency of studio releases have led to higher studio margins. They have diversified their IP portfolio and invigorated their creative and technological pipeline which built their IP into strong brands. The acquisition of Lucasfilm adds to the synergy and the prospect of more films. A fuller slate can be expected going forward, with big hits continuing. Recent release Wreck-It Ralph has already been the largest debut for Walt Disney Animation Studios. After building their IP through studio, Disney has an excellent opportunity to monetize them through other products especially with their clear competitive edge in having more diversified business lines. Pixar's impact is seen through the opening of Cars Land, which has been huge. With Lucasfilm, they can leverage the iconic Star Wars brand along with Marvel's IP in Steam Parks and TV. These acquisitions will also benefit from Disney's distribution and in turn build the Disney brand. Also, the Netflix and Amazon deals allow Disney to accelerate its monetization of IP through digital platforms, an opportunity aligned with the growth of internet TV. This could help to offset the risk of flat earnings from their TV business due to recent lower ratings. Disney is also making smart investments in park technology, attractions, and cruise upgrades to enhance guest experiences. Yes, the weak economy led to sluggish attendances, but upgrades allowed them to raise prices more than competitors, increasing margins and profit. Also, investments in international parks such as Hong Kong, which has surged in attendance rates, and Shanghai are strategically astute given the growth trajectory of the spending power in Asia. Drawing on the analysis, we turn to valuation. Sales growth will pick up next year and hit peak growth in fiscal year 16, while margins will pick up in 14 after the completion of growth initiatives. Fiscal year 12 is expected to be a peak year for KPEX and will decrease thereafter. The CFROI forecast is hence increasing against a fade to the benchmark of 6%, but toward the industry median of about 12%, with an applied final fade rate of 5.5%. Real asset growth will expectedly fade toward the benchmark 2.5%. Using the hook discount rate, I derive an equity valuation of 57.40 and upside of 15% from the price at Christmas. Thanks for watching.